In this video, we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside Wix Forms. So, Wix Forms is an online form building platform which allows users to create custom forms for their websites, for taking surveys, for generating feedbacks from their customers, and to generate leads from their website. Okay, so I'm going to tell you step by step that how can you set up a connection between Wix Forms and Pabli Connect to send a response of Wix Forms to any other application automatically with the help of webhook. So, webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data from one application to another when a specific event happens. Whenever the form will be submitted in Wix Forms, we want to receive the response of that form in Pabli Connect with the help of Webhook. So here my objective is that as soon as the form will be submitted in Wix Forms, then automatically the response of that form should be captured here in Pabli Connect and then the same response should be sent to any other application with the help of this workflow. But before that, first of all, we have to set up the connection between Wix and Pabli Connect. So on my screen, you can see that there are two windows, Trigger and Action. Trigger and actions are the two main concepts of this entire automation on which Pabli Connect works. Trigger says when this happens and the action says to this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here our objective is that whenever the form will be submitted in Wix then automatically I want to create a record in Google Sheets of all the form responses. So for that I'm going to take Wix forms in my trigger and Google Sheets in my action. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the form is submitted in Wix then only the record is created in Google Sheets otherwise not. In the same manner you can select any application in action and you can select number of action steps in your workflow but you can only have one trigger because trigger is going to command the entire workflow. So let's suppose if you want to send WhatsApp message to your customer who is submitting the form in Wix, then you can select WhatsApp Cloud API in the action. If you want to send the form response to your team members on Google Chat, then you can add Google Chat in the action step. And also you can add Google Sheets to create a record. Okay, so you can add multiple action steps. Now, let's start creating the workflow step by step. And I'm going to tell you exactly all the clear steps that how you have to set up the connection between Wix and Pabli Connect. For that, first of all, we have to go towards trigger step. And our trigger application here will be Wix Forms, of course. So we will select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new form submission will be our trigger event because whenever the form will be submitted, we want to receive the response over here. As we have done that, we have received a webhook URL. So this is a unique URL which is going to act as a bridge for setting up the connection between Wix forms and Pabli Connect and it is going to send the data from Wix forms on the form submission over here in Pabli Connect. And we can also see that some instructions are also provided to us. So we have to follow the instructions carefully, step by step to set up this connection. So first of all, let us copy the webhook URL. And then I'm going to tell you exactly all the steps that what we have to do. So now first of all, we have to log into our Wix account. And I've already done that. So I'm going to take you towards my account. After coming over here from the left side, we can see the option of automations. After coming on automations, here we have to click on new automation button. Now, if you have already created an automation and if you want to continue that then you have to search that automation over here by typing the name but to create a new automation we have to click on the start from scratch now here we have to first of all provide a name to our automation so because i am creating this automation to set the webhook so here i'm going to give the name to my automation as new webhook okay just a random name but you can give any name to your automation according to your requirement. Now the next step is that we have to select the trigger that on the happening of which event we want this workflow to trigger. So here my trigger application will be Wix forms. So whenever the form will be submitted inside Wix forms we want this workflow to trigger. As we are creating an automation inside Pabli Connect similarly we have to create the automation over here as well to send the response automatically. Now we have to select Wix forms over here in the trigger and it is asking us the trigger event that on happening of which event we want the workflow to run. So we have to select form submitted over here. Now it is asking us which form you want to select. So if we have two options over here any form or specific. If you are going to select any forms then on the submission of all the forms which you are having in your Wix forms account you're going to receive the response that means whenever any form will be submitted you're going to receive the response in Pabli Connect but in case if you are selecting specific then you have to select the specific form and when that specific form will be submitted then only you are going to receive the response so here in my case I'm going to select specific because I want that only on the submission of a specific form I want to receive the response so we will have to select the form as well so you can see that I have two options over here I have two forms in my Wix account contact form and subscriptions so I'm going to select contact form so whenever the contact form will be submitted by a lead then I want to receive the response now I'm going to click on okay 
and the form is selected over here now it is asking us limit frequency too so we have multiple options over here don't limit once per contact once per contact every 24 hours so i'm going to select don't limit so as soon as the form will be submitted workflow should trigger every time okay now we have to move forward towards our action step as we have selected the trigger we also have to select the action that when the form will be submitted what we want the workflow to do we wanted to send the response of that form via webbook towards Babli connect so you will select send via webbook option over here now we have to enter the url which we have copied from Babli connect so we will simply paste the url over here and now here the request type will be post and the payload type will be application json now you'll click on activate and here it is saying your new automation is active now so this is our automation you can see new webbook it is active now you'll go back towards public connect and here it is showing waiting for webbook response so after setting up the connection to test this connection with whether it is correct or not we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured and how we are going to do that by submitting the form which we have recently connected so i have connected contact form i will go back towards wix and here in the customers and leads section from the left side we can find the option of forms and submissions let's select that so here we have two options subscriptions and contact i have built the connection between contact form and public connect so i will submit this form so we will click on open form in the same manner you have to select the form and you will open it so this is my contact form which i have created generally to capture the lead so as soon as the person is going to submit this form i'm going to receive the response of that lead with all the details and then i can send that same response to any other application also automatically so now here i'm going to enter the details and because i'm doing a test submission therefore i'm going to go with some dummy details let's start with the name let's say the name of the lead who is submitting this contact form is dummy and the last name is lead dummy lead now i'm going to enter a random email dummy at the rate .com, and now a random phone number now i'm going to click on submit and the form is submitted so let's go back towards public connect and here we will wait for a few seconds and yes we can see that here the response is received in the response we have received all the details you can see this is the date and submission time that on which date and at what time the form is submitted okay this is the submission id this is the form type that is basic form the name of the form which we have connected that is contact form okay and here is the and here is the phone number of the person who has submitted the form email address first name and last name as well and all other details so this means that our connection is absolutely successful so now whenever the contact form will be submitted in wix then automatically i'm going to receive the response of that form over here in public connect and in the same manner you have to build the connection by following the same steps okay with the help of the webbook url if you want to select a specific form you can go for that and if you want that on the submission of any form you want to receive the response then you can also select any form over there and whatever you want to do after the response is received you can add your applications in the action step accordingly for example if you want to send the response towards google sheets you can add google sheets over here after that if you want to add the person who has submitted the form as a subscriber in mailchimp or in salesforce then you can also do that by adding salesforce on mailchimp over here and you can also send whatsapp message to the submitter by adding whatsapp cloud api in this way you can create your automation according to your choice so these were the steps that how you have to set a webbook inside wix forms i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations